Welcome to Modern Study Pro. Today we're covering Chapter 9, Hydrocarbons. Let's break it down in a simple and exam-focused way. What alkenes have one or more double bonds between carbon atoms? They have the general formula CNH2N. When two carbon atoms share two pairs of electrons, they form a double bond between the carbon atoms. How many electrons are left on each carbon atom? Answer. B. 3. In a double bond, each carbon uses two electrons for bonding and has three left for other bonds. The type of bond present between the carbon atoms and alkynes is Answer. C. Triple covalent bond. Alkynes have one triple bond between two carbon atoms. Alkenes are classified as Answer. B. Unsaturated hydrocarbons. They have C equals C double bonds, making them unsaturated. Cracking of large alkane molecules requires Answer B. High temperature and catalyst. Heat and catalyst break large hydrocarbon chains. Which of the following is a product of cracking large alkane molecules? Answer B. Alkenes. Cracking produces smaller alkenes and alkanes. The chemical test to distinguish between alkanes and alkenes involves Answer B. Bromine water. Bromine water decolorises with alkenes, but not alkanes. Alkynes contain which type of carbon-carbon bond? Answer. C. Triple covalent bond. The defining feature of alkynes is the C is identical to C triple bond. Ethene is commonly used for. Answer. B. Welding. Ethene burns with a hot flame, suitable for welding metals. Fractional distillation separates petroleum into fractions based on. Answer. B. Boiling point. Different fractions boil at different temperatures. Which property increases as you move from the bottom to the top of the fractionating column? Answer. If volatility, volatility increases upward because boiling points decrease. The gasoline slash petrol fraction petrol is mainly used in is car primarily engines. used for. Doubly bonded Answer. carbon atoms C. form which car type fuel. of bond with two other atoms? Answer. A. Single. Each double-bonded carbon also forms two single bonds with other atoms. Short answer questions. Describe the bonding in alkenes. Alkenes have both sigma, sigma, bonds, and one pi, pi symbol, bond between the carbon atoms of the double bond. The sigma bond is formed by head-on overlap of orbitals, while the pi bond is formed by sideways overlap of p orbitals. Conditions required for the cracking of alkanes. High temperature about 600 to 700 degrees Celsius, and a catalyst such as aluminum oxide or silica. Why is cracking of large alkane molecules important in the petroleum industry? It produces smaller, more useful hydrocarbons like petrol and alkenes, which have higher demand. Test for the presence of an unsaturated hydrocarbon. Pass the hydrocarbon through bromine water. If it becomes colorless, the compound is unsaturated. Symbol equation for preparation of ethene from ethanol. Type of bond in alkynes. One sigma, sigma, bond, and two pi, pi symbol, bond between the two carbon atoms in the triple bond. Two uses of ethene. Used as a fuel for oxyacetylene welding. Used in artificially ripening fruits. Principle behind fractional distillation of petroleum. Separation is based on differences in boiling points of the fractions. Change in boiling point from bottom to top of fractionating column. Boiling points decrease from bottom, highest, to top, lowest. Two uses of naphtha fraction. Used as a feedstock for making chemicals and plastics. Used as a solvent. How to distinguish between propane and propene. Add bromine water. Propene decolorises bromine water. Propane does not. Cracking in a refinery. A. Alkenes are unsaturated because they contain at least one carbon, carbon double bond. Conditions, high temperature, about 600 to 700 degrees Celsius, and catalysts such as aluminum oxide. Necessary to produce high-demand fuels and raw materials for plastics. D. Use a suitable catalyst and... Ethene, acetylene. A unsaturated because it contains a carbon, carbon triple bond. B. Effective welding fuel because it burns with a very hot flame, 
3,000 degrees C, in oxygen. C. Health risks. May leave harmful residues, can cause food poisoning or health issues. D. Safer alternative. Use ethylene gas or natural ripening methods like controlled storage. Why alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons. They contain at least one carbon, carbon double bond, meaning they can undergo addition reactions. Symbol equation for cracking of decane. Why refinery gas fraction is more volatile than fuel oil. Refinery gas has smaller molecules with lower boiling points, so it evaporates more easily. Long answer questions. Process of fractional distillation of petroleum. Petroleum is a mixture of hydrocarbons with different boiling points. It is heated in a furnace until it vaporizes and enters a tall, fractionating column. The column has trays at different heights with a temperature gradient, hot at the bottom and cooler at the top. As vapors rise, they cool and condense at levels where the temperature is below their boiling point. Heavy fractions like bitumen condense at the bottom, while light fractions like refinery gas remain at the top. From bottom to top, boiling points decrease, volatility increases, and viscosity decreases. This process separates petroleum into useful fractions such as diesel, kerosene, petrol, and gases. Significance of cracking in the petroleum industry. Cracking breaks down large, less useful alkane molecules into smaller, more useful ones like petrol and alkenes. The demand for lighter hydrocarbons is higher than for heavy fractions, so cracking helps balance supply with demand. It also produces alkenes, which are valuable feedstocks for making plastics, synthetic fibers, and other chemicals. Thermal cracking uses high heat, while catalytic cracking uses catalysts to lower temperature and increase efficiency. Without cracking, the industry would have an oversupply. Heavy oils and a shortage of fuels and raw materials for petrochemicals. Preparation of alkenes by elimination reactions. Alkenes can be prepared from halogenol canes by dehydrohalogenation and from alcohols by dehydration. In dehydrohalogenation, a halogenol cane is heated with alcoholic potassium hydroxide, which removes a hydrogen atom and a halogen atom, forming a double bond. Example, in dehydration, an alcohol is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid or passed over hot aluminum oxide, removing a water molecule to form an alkene. Example, both methods produce unsaturated hydrocarbons that can be used in making polymers and other chemicals. That's all for Chapter 9, Hydrocarbons. Keep revising and stay tuned to Modern Study Pro for more clear lessons.